She was a magnificent presence. She went right to the heart of the matter. She had a beautiful sound. She didn't have to bow to anybody. I mean, she'd had a major concert career. She was a living example of how a woman could make it. Madame was a, a sort of Eleanor Roosevelt of music. I learned from her what it meant to be an artist. As a concert pianist, I was on the stage myself. As the wife of the orchestra conductor, Leopold Stokowski, I was an observer at close range behind the scenes. She was actually born Lucy Hickenlooper. She had to adopt this uh, Russian name, Samaro, from somewhere. I think there was an inferiority complex in both America and in Europe for American musicians. That changed, and Mother was one of the ones that changed it. On the evening of January 18th, 1905, Olga has her American debut in Carnegie Hall. Madame Samara's hiring of a whole hall probably was, for a woman, it was something really out of the ordinary. During all the years of my career as a woman pianist, when the critic said I played like a woman, it meant that he did not like me at all. Stokowski was a man who wooed you by seduction in music. But I don't think he was capable of deep love. The New York Evening Post offered her a position as the first woman music critic of the paper. Her uh, prestige was enormous. Everybody thought that she was the very top teacher, and every student felt extremely privileged to be there. Her years at Juilliard allow her to impart her broad training to generations of exceptionally talented American musicians. What a forth-thinking person, uh, Madam, was to think that here she was producing these artists. but. Where was the audience for them? You know, she was worrying about the whole picture. She had the vision to see how important the general public's appreciation of music was. Brilliant lecture. On one of her radio programs that she had pianists play behind screens. 92% of the listeners thought I was a man. <laughs> <laughs> that just tickled her to death. 